There are no rains for the last 15 days and the sowing season will start soon. We are seeing yearly changes in weather patterns, especially rainfall. India traditionally depended on rainfall for its agricultural needs and an estimated half of the cultivable area is dependent on rainfall. But with erratic weather and rainfall, the dependence on groundwater and other sources for irrigation is on the rise. This is why we farmers will be having difficulties irrigating our crops properly. Agriculture practices such as improper soil management, indiscriminate fertilizer application and overuse of agrochemicals are connected with sustainable water management. Not just water, we are facing a lot of challenges in waste generation in farms also. When improperly handled, they pollute the surface and ground water and also contribute to air pollution. Water and waste are not the only issues. Energy management in agriculture is important and needs a lot of attention. Right, and now we learn that we cannot continue farming the way we were either. So what do we farmers do now? How will we make a living? What you are saying is all true, but it is only one side of the future of farming. Are, Officer Didi, I didn't notice you were here. The current trends of water, energy usage and waste disposal needs to change. Because of the harm being done to the environment and to your livelihood as well. Yes, the population of the world will reach an estimated 10 billion by 2050. Putting much stress on fresh water resources and as agriculture has a high usage rate than most sectors it will be severely affected. Modern agriculture is heavily dependent on non-renewable energy sources, especially petroleum. Most farm machines are fossil fuel driven, which contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. Waste production and disposal are also affecting our environment by adding to more greenhouse emissions. Since every year, agricultural solid wastes are indiscriminately dumped or burnt thereby resulting in air pollution and soil contamination. Don't lose hope. Sustainable water management in agriculture can be achieved by reduction in water loss by using efficient irrigation systems, adoption of innovative irrigation methods as well as efficiency in fertilizer application tilling practices, mulching, and increase of organic matter in soil help in the conservation of soil moisture. Farmers play an integral role in controlling the waste released by their work. Reduction, recycling, and reuse of waste are waste management. It begins by knowing your capacity and not buying more than your need. The proper management of waste from agricultural operations can contribute in a significant way to farm operations. Higher organic matter in the soil can reduce the need for commercial fertilizers while providing other nutrients needed for crop production. A popular way to recycle crop waste is by composting. Furthermore, there should be collection systems for organized recycling of waste. Energy use in agriculture should change to the use of renewable resources. Promote renewable energy sources such as solar or wind energy, hydropower and biofuels. For example, in remote areas, underground submersible solar photovoltaic water pumps are economically viable and also an environmentally friendly option as compared with diesel generator sets. From where did you receive such an important information? It was from the developed private public partnership program initiated by ABT, McCormick and GIZ. Adopt right water, waste and energy management practices for a better future.